Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we're gonna to do a full body strength and flexibility yoga practice. So just find a little bit of space to move. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get started. So let's begin today by just finding a nice comfy seat and I want you to bring your hands to rest on your knees. Take a big inhale and lengthen your spine and as you exhale, turn your upper body to face the right side for a twist. Ah, just going as far as your body will let you go. Take another inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hold that twist. One more breath in and out. Use an inhale, slowly turn back to face the front, and exhale, twist. Hmm. Just breathing here. With each inhale, lengthen, sit a little taller, exhale, twist. Hmm. And using an inhale, we're gonna come back to face the front, and exhale to the right side one more time. Sit nice and tall here. And let's use an inhale to come back and exhale over. Hmm. Awesome, you guys, using an inhale to come back to face the front. One more big breath in and out. Awesome, bringing your hands to the floor in front of you. Let's come onto our hands and knees, setting up a tabletop but I want you to bring your left hand to the middle of your shoulders, to the middle of your chest. We're gonna take a twist here. So use an inhale, start to lift your right arm, either out to the side or all the way up for the ceiling, looking in whatever direction those fingertips are going. Take one more inhale and exhale. Bring your right hand down, place it where the left hand was and let's switch. Inhale, twist to the left. Hmm. Awesome job, you guys. One more inhale and an exhale. Let it go. You can bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide. Tuck the toes, lifting your knees up and finding a downward facing dog. So take your dog for a little walk, pedal the feet, move however feels good. Hmm. Starting to breathe a little deeper. Awesome, you guys, using an inhale, let's look forwards. Exhale, walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Take an inhale for a half lift and an exhale to fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up, and exhale your hands through heart center and down to your sides. We're gonna bend our knees for chair pose. So if your feet are together, squeeze your knees together, squeeze your legs together. If your feet are apart, keep your knees apart as well. Sink into those hips, reach up, fire up those quads, relax your shoulders. Take one more inhale and exhale. Straighten your legs as you fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold forwards, inhale all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale your hands through heart center, down to your sides. One more time into that chair pose, sink those hips down, inhale, reach it up. Fire up those quads, draw the low belly in. One more inhale and exhale, straighten your legs as you fold forwards, inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat and step back into a downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. Walk your feet together, big toes to touch. Inhale your right foot up and exhale. Let's send that foot forwards between our hands, setting up a lunge. So you could drop the back knee if you wanna sink nice and low into those hips. You can keep the back knee lifted, but we're gonna come for a twist, you guys. So keep that left hand down. Right hand is gonna find that knee. Turn your chest to the right. Maybe reach all the way up. Breathe. Wake up those legs. Wake up those fingertips. Take another inhale. And exhale, let your right hand come down to the mat. Let your knee find the mat as well. If it's lifted, we're just gonna heel toe that right foot over to the edge, 
Turn the toes out a little bit, bringing that right hand down right under the shoulder, bring that left hand down so you can keep your knee on the mat. If you want to work a little more, you can make this an active lizard. You can lift that back knee, still sinking those hips nice and low. We're going to move into a little twist here if you want. The left hand's going to stay down. I like to move it just to the edge of the mat a little bit. Right hand's going to find the knee, maybe reaching all the way up. Awesome, you guys. Remember that back knee can rest, relax on the mat. Breathe, take one more inhale. And exhale, Woo. bring that left or right hand down, I guess. We're just gonna heel toe the foot back to the middle of the mat. So if your knee is down, just start to lift it up now. Take an inhale, look forwards. And exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold, inhale all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up, and let's start to bend the knees and find our chair pose. So bring your hands together in front of your heart. Sink into those hips, we're taking a twist. That left elbow is gonna find the outside of that right knee. Think about keeping the chest, the heart above the hips. So the booty likes to lift, sink those hips down, twist. Awesome, you guys, use an inhale. Turn yourself to face the front, reset, maybe even take a break. Your hands are staying together at prayer. And then that right elbow is coming to that left knee. Remember to sink those hips down. Keep the chest lifted a little higher. Breathe, ah, so good. Use an inhale, bring yourself to face the front, maybe reach up if you got it. And exhale, straighten the legs as you fold forwards. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to your mat. Step back into your downward ha, facing dog. Big toes coming together right away. Hips high. Inhale your left foot up. And exhale, let's send it forwards. Drop that foot in between your hands. Set up your lunge. Drop the knee if you want it. We're taking our twist so the right hand will stay down. The left hand will find the knee. Or reach all the way up. Awesome, Ricky guys. Slow down the breath. One more inhale. And then exhale to bring the left hand down. So maybe start to drop that back knee. We're gonna move into the lizard. So heel toe, your left foot over. Turn your toes out a little bit. Set up that lizard, maybe tucking the back toes and lifting the knee if you want that twist. Left hand's coming back for that knee or reaching all the way up. Oh, nice job, you guys. Let's take one more inhale and exhale. Let that go. Start to heel toe your foot back to the middle of your mat. Lift your knee if you haven't already. Take an inhale and exhale bring your back foot to the top of your mat inhale half lift exhales you fold inhale all the way up reach it up look up and exhale your hands through heart center down to your sides let's do one more chair so bend those knees inhale reach it up fire up those quads <sighs> breathe can you sink a little lower can you sink a little lower into that chair? <laughs> nice, you guys. One more inhale. And exhale, straighten the legs as you fold forwards. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. So one more inhale. And an exhale to bring your knees down to your mat. All right, you guys. We're going to come onto our, well, our hands and knees to start. <clears throat> we're going to bring our knees out a little bit wider. Uh, so maybe I'm going to turn to face this way, actually. So your knees are going to be a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're going to come into a twist and shoulder stretch here. So you're going to bring your hands to the floor. Listen very carefully. We're going to take our left shoulder. And we're going to try to bring it in front of the right knee. So it looks something like this. And by in front of that right knee, I mean as close to that right knee as you can get it. Maybe even past that right knee. So the hips can fall towards the heels to get that shoulder down. I want you to try to make contact with the ground with that left shoulder. 
rest your head. Nice, you guys. So once you've got your shoulder down, it might not be touching your knee. It might. That's okay. I want you to lift the hips back up. Instead of looking to that right side, we actually want to look towards the ceiling. We're going to try and pull that right shoulder back. So this arm, a lot of people like to reach up for the ceiling. I don't like to do that though. Bring your fingertips to the mat and just trace them around your head. Make a little circle around your head and open that shoulder. The furthest you could go would be bringing that right shoulder all the way down to the floor. If you guys, so some people get a twist in this, some get a shoulder stretch, some get a neck stretch, some get all three. Nice, you guys. So when you're ready, use an inhale and gracefully, slowly lift yourself all the way back up onto your hands and knees. Take a second, take those hips for a little rock. Sit on your heels if you need a break and we're gonna switch sides. Uh, so I'll do my best once again to guide you, <laughs> guide you through this. So the right shoulder is trying to find that left knee this time. So either in line with that knee or touching that knee as close as you can get it. So that's gonna give you the twist, bringing the shoulder over to that left knee. That's gonna give you the twist through your back Rest that right shoulder, lift those hips a little more, rest the head. Again, taking those left fingertips, not reaching up, but keeping them on the ground and just tracing them around the head. Pulling that left shoulder open. Hmm. And you might be looking to the ceiling instead of to the side. I see you guys. I'm a little more open on this side right now. The furthest you can come is bringing that left shoulder to the ground. So both your shoulders would be down. Nice job, you guys. So with an inhale, ooh, when you're ready, slowly roll out some people end up rolling the other way unintentionally if that's you that's okay just just come back onto your hands and knees take those hips for a little rock side to side and then we're in a meet in child's pose so bringing your knees out wide big toes together ah, resting your arms either above your head or at your sides wherever's comfy forehead a cheek just relax bringing the length back to the spine Nice work, you guys. Stay a little longer in child's pose if you'd like. We're going to just have a seat so you can cross your ankles, bringing your legs out in front. Let's extend the left leg and bring the right foot over top. Cross those legs. Your knee's going to be nice and high in towards your chest. You can keep the bottom leg straight or you can bend it in. So just hang on to your knee. Sit nice and tall. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, start to turn to the right towards your knee, hug it in. Maybe the right hand wants to come to the floor behind you for some support. Maybe that left elbow wants to come to the outside of your knee for a nice twist. Awesome, you guys. Let's use an inhale to come back to the front. Exhale for your counter twist. And then bringing yourself back to face the front. Just unwind the legs, right leg out, left leg over. Keep that leg straight if you want. Bend it in if you want. Doesn't matter. Take an inhale, hang on to your knee. And an exhale to twist to the left. Going as far as your body lets you go. I'm trying to sit a little taller. Maybe you're getting a nice glute stretch too.
Awesome job, you guys. Use an inhale. Come back to the front and exhale over to the other side. And then let it go. <sighs> Unwinding the legs. We're going to lay all the way down onto our backs. <sighs> Coming all the way down. Hmm. Nice work, you guys. Okay, so bring your left foot to the floor. Cross your right foot over top of your quad. And then I want you to reach your arms out. <clears throat> and I want you to walk your left foot as close to your hips as you can get them. Okay, so the arms are weighing down the shoulders. The shoulders aren't gonna move, we're twisting. And we're gonna keep our legs like this. So our legs are gonna fall to the left. Keep the shoulders down, turn those hips, and try to lift that lift, lift, slide that left knee up towards your shoulder a little bit more. So you might feel this nice stretch through that glute on that right leg. The knees kind of pointing up towards the ceiling. That foot's down on the floor, something like that. If this doesn't feel good, if this is just too weird for you, just simply uncross the legs, stack them on top of one another, take your Take your standard twist that we always do. Nice, you guys. And we won't stay too long in this. Just use an inhale when you're ready uh, to lift those heavy legs back up. <laughs> Low back to the mat, you can uncross your legs. Uh, switching sides so that left foot's gonna come rest on top of the quad. Move the right foot nice and close to your glutes. Weigh those shoulders down and then let the legs fall over. So to get more out of this, you might wanna lift the right knee up towards the right shoulder. Keeping the left foot planted, it's crossed, and that knee is pointing towards the ceiling. Some sort of love might be coming into that outer left hip or quad. Remembering if this doesn't feel good, you can just cross your legs or I mean rest them on top of one another. But we're almost done here. So just take another breath. Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, ah, bring the legs back up, uncross them, maybe even hug them in towards your chest. A little rock side to side if you'd like. Hmm. Nice job. If your feet are lifted, just start to bring them back down. Sliding them out nice and long. Hmm. Resting your arms at your sides. Just taking a few moments in Shavasana. Letting your entire lower body just be heavy on the mat. Be relaxed and open. And the same goes for the upper body. And as always, I encourage you to stay here for as long as you have time for. Enjoying the rest of your day uh, until we meet again. Namaste.